everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today, I'm gonna to show you a brand new feature that is a part of the latest updates that has been pushed out to the Samsung Galaxy devices here in the month of April. Now, one of the really cool things that you can now do is take a look at your Galaxy Buds 2 Pro's widget on the lock screen. And this just makes things super easy. You don't even have to unlock your phone or do anything to make any changes if let's say that you're listening to music or maybe you're about to. So let's take a look at this. So first off, I wanna show you what the application looks like and then I'm gonna show you how you can add it in. So when you first open this up, I just wanna show you how it's being connected. So I tap on the time, it opens up the rest of my lock screen widgets. And here we go, I can make changes with, you know, this noise controls, but I don't have my buds in currently. I can turn on or off my touch control. So currently I have my touch controls off because if I'm making adjustments, moving them around, I don't want to accidentally, you know, change the song or turn it up, turn it down, pause, play, anything like that. And you can even change maybe let's say the 360 audio. So here is the head tracking on. Everything is completely off when it comes down to the 360 audio. And then you can still keep your 360 audio on, but the head tracking off. Now, if you would like to add this into your lock screen widgets, so pretty much all you'd have to do is you can go through the phone or if you just go to your lock screen, you tap on your time on the very bottom, you go to settings. This will allow you to put in any of your credentials. And then through here on the widgets, this is where you can see that now it is sitting inside of this area. Now, originally it was on the bottom, you know, it was sitting down here. I just reordered it back up. I'm gonna put it up over here because maybe I would like to, you know, see it a little bit quicker on the lock screen itself. Any of these ones, you know, if you don't use them as much, you can just bring them right on down. Now you really can't do anything, you know, in terms of more customization, you know, just by tapping on it, but you can move it up and then basically there's your widgets. Uh, so here we go, you can turn them on, you can turn them off. When it comes on the music, you can go through and make a few changes to the lock screen widget itself. Same thing with modes and routines. So I kind of hope maybe they can add in more settings that you can maybe change with the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro Manager. So this is really all you would have to do to bring it inside of your lock screen widget is again, by tapping here, go to the bottom and then uh, going inside your settings. And now you can see that I do have it, you know, closer to the top. I can see my name. I can see my left percentage, the right earbud percentage, and then also my case percentage. So this just kind of means that I had my right earbud in, I was using it without the left and that's why it is down just a little bit more. So again, right through here, I can just go through and I can change these, you know, as I'm using them, if I'm at the gym, I can turn on my, my touch controls real quick. I can head right back and then now I'm back to working out. Again, I don't have to go through, you know, the Galaxy wearable application now let's say that I go inside of the lock screen and then I tap you know maybe like right there so the area that I tapped was an open area I didn't try to tap on any of these little icons here uh, I tapped in an area that was empty and then I unlocked my phone and then it took me right inside of the Galaxy wearable application again if I needed to make any additional changes so that is all that I wanted to share with you in today's video is to share with you that if you have the Galaxy Buds 2 Pros and you have the latest April update, which sometimes some phones got two updates this month in the month of April. Now you actually have a brand new widget for the lock screen. When I close on it, I tap on this. Now it just basically says it's disconnected. But hey, I love that it's sitting there. Uh, I love the ability of having a brand new widget, not only just a widget that I have sitting right here or even another widget that I could probably add in there or going inside of the application of the Galaxy wearable application. We have a widget on the lock screen that you can control, you know, right from the very get go, the very front. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball Famous, so, so famous, number one desirable Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in the air, that's how I roll